it's going fine. I mean, I am like, this is my studio. So one area is makeup, the other is skincare. And then this area is closet confessions. Today, Lucy, we are doing print clash. It can be a car crash or it can be a phenomenal clash. I'll take a clash, thanks. I yeah. love a clash, it's actually. A, it's a very um, narrow dividing line. And some of the things I might show you today, you might go, oh, but... This is about the experimenters, Lucy. This is people who are prepared to take that next jump. Print clash has become quite a, a on-trend thing, thanks to brands like Rixo, who do it in lots of their designs. They do, that's right. They do it in the same dress. They might have different prints. Are you scared of wearing prints, Lucy? Well, actually, I tried to find some print, and then I realised that I don't have any. You don't have any. I mean, let's just see Lucy dressed today. So Lucy is dressed up in a kimono. Inspiration from last week's Closet Confessions. I love you, Lucy. I love print, and I love it when you're in a store and you see something really pretty. But I think my main thing is I don't know if it suits me, and I don't know about the size of the pattern. Okay. It's about what suits you, Lucy, but it's also about the kind of woman you are. So I can put some clothes up to women and if they're a print, I'll just see the outfit way before I see their face. I will just think, you know, even with a great lip, could she wear that print? Most women who wear prints can wear prints. There's not many people who just have like one or two print things occasionally they put on. People just wear them, embrace them, or they're kind of monochromatic. I'm in between. I used to wear a lot more prints, Lucy. When I was doing what not to wear, I would do a ton of prints. I loved, I collected antique print dresses. I haven't even got many of those out here, but I used to just wear lovely prints. This one is an old Prada. Wow. Um, which is like just fantastic and I would not fit now. Um, it's a kind of like a mini ball gown. Uh, that was probably from about 15 years ago. And this is a hand-painted Dolce Gabbana canvas. Oh, so wow. they actually, I think Stefano Gabbana painted that. And it's kind of like, it's a, a work of art on a dress. Where did you wear that, Trini? God, I remember so well one occasion I wore it, where I went on a date after I got divorced. And the person I was going to date with sort of last minute said, oh, I don't know if I want to go out. And I thought, and I'd been so geared up for it, and I just thought, okay, let me put on the dress that will make them go out that evening. So I just turned up at their house and I was in this dress and I said, sure you don't want to go out? And it's just on, it's an amazing dress. And they said, no, let's, let's go out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, that ended up being a relationship for a couple of years. Um, and it was that dress, maybe that did it. This, I wore to, there's a picture of me actually, I wore it and I was going out with Johnny to the Conservative Party annual ball. Such a bloody boring affair. Um, I mean, what I was doing there, I don't know. It's like the most yawning thing ever. And I wore this. But I just want to start, Lucy, with somebody who I think does print so well. I met, when I was in Dublin, a lady called Joanne Hines. And she's an amazing um, designer. And she does a lot of things she does for done stores. She does diffuser rates, but this is one of them. Oh. And she's incredibly good with print, but I'm going to take it off now because I'm too hot. This is the opposite of print. This is block, but we're going to go back to print. Yeah. So okay. when I look at some print, I want to wear it with plain. So, for example, this dress, which I kind of love, but I don't like the handkerchief hem. I would consider, Lucy, wearing that with a plain thing. So I'm going to show you. I look at that and I think, can I wear that? The shape of it isn't the best shape, so I probably would wear it with a belt and I quite like it with the trousers underneath. I just think, you know, the colors, is it slightly off? I'm not sure, but I, I like that idea. I probably would put a white belt on. But also where the, the big pattern is on the front of the dress and then the smaller prints on the sides on the sleeves. Yeah. Is that strategic in the design? I, I don't know if it is or not. This is a, um, top old top shop dress, but this is what Rixo do too. And putting a different size print works when it's exactly the same colors. I think it's probably similar, Lucy, to color blocking. You know, yeah. when you get a dress and it's body conning the dress, the fact that different prints on the side 
I think probably is flattering. So this Lucy is some trousers from C'est La Vie with a really old Topshop top. Okay, why does this work? <sighs> this works to me. I mean, it's a very weird one because it's unusual, but in these trousers, there's a kind of orange, which is in this, and there is that sort of darker grayish color, which is sort of in here too. The fact that this is a stripe of sorts, you know, it is, it has that feeling of a stripe and so does the top. That helps as well. And I love the fact that it's not just ending here because the sleeve is so long, it carries on and brings the outfit together. I'm wearing it with a very high stellar heel. When you do something this mad, you have to be very aware of your, what you're gonna wear up the top. Yeah. So I would think, would I wear a strong swainy lip? I could. I'm gonna say I probably would. Yeah, it you know? works. It works and it, it takes a bit of the darker orange from the bottom, you know, and gives it something. But you know me, another layer. So I have been known when I'm layering up this look to then add a coat, which I'm loath to do because it's so hot, but I'm just gonna show you. I just love the fact that the orange and the orange, there's a bit of sort of a violet lavender in there, which has an echo with that dove gray. Yeah. And I just like that together. I think it's much more interesting than if I just wore a white shirt. So that's one of my favorite clashings. But then I did, I mean, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're here. I have an orange kimono. Now I don't think that it's gonna go with the shirt, but I think it might go with the trousers. So that's definitely doing too much for me, is to modern it up, to add a really sharp neon. Oh, fab. You know, and then have those trousers coming out. So this could be a sort of evening outfit. I love the kimono with the trousers. I think the colors are beautiful together. They look like they were made for each other. In your wardrobe, would you hang prints together then? Now that I've hung them together, I'll see what goes together and then I'll probably hang it in outfits. I love hanging clothes in outfits. And I think when you're being inspired by prints, you need to hang in, in outfits together so that you can remember what you put together. So I'm actually gonna put this on the pile, Lucy, for S. Susanna, and ask her oh. to do another thing, but I might make the sleeves longer like that. Yeah, that's cool. You know? Can I just thank the lovely Trini Triber who gave this to me as a gift? But a kimono is such an old fashioned thing. Sometimes you want something shocking and modern like neon to take it into the 21st century. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. So you've, you've hit on that juxtaposition of old and new. Exactly. Should we do the next inspiration? Yeah. It's a sort of classic print clash, but what's nice is the fabric is different, but that sort of yellowy greeny shade is in the circles and the darker green is in the tweed they kind of have a good relationship with each other. I put a pooky lip because you know, we'd had all those ladies saying, why don't you try some pink? Yeah. And I just thought, let me try pink on my face and then have the softness of the blouse, which is Zara, and then the trousers are the ones that Susanna made. I use makeup a lot to wear prints better, I have to say, Lucy. Mm -hmm. You know, when I wear prints, I need to wear more makeup. If you feel very washed out, prints will wash you out more. So I think these are things we have to remember too when we're thinking about prints. Do you think as well, because when you were younger, you wore clothes that showed off more of your skin. So do you think now you brought the pattern up closer to your face? Maybe. You your makeup to be um, as, as bold as the pattern that's closer to your face? Yeah, I think you're right, because I would have worn a top like there and having bare skin. Yes, I think you've, there's something in it. Definitely something in that, Luz. Some of the most forgiving prints are paisley inspired prints. They have a flow to the colors. They're not contrasting hard. And I think yeah. that makes the print softer and easier to wear. This is a shrimp um, uh, jacket that I was, you know, I was with you. I got in the song sale. And yeah. I sort of liked it like that. It's a classic way to wear it. But I felt very aware of the shape of it because I had such a contrast in the white yeah. and I just thought what if I put the check over that okay okay Let's I just see. thought would it soften the contrast and still be interesting and would it work like it already you like it already do you see what I mean there's something very interesting about taking a similar taking an echo mm -hmm. and 
putting it on it so you think the two together would be louder and more contrasting but the two together to me make this an easier gilet to wear and I love the colors together so what works in this is they're both navy and white they're both a check so that's enough of a relationship for me to then take it to you know stage of, of um, layering it over yeah I agree with that it's it's so much softer I can't wait for it to be cold again so I can wear it <laughs> this is a shirt that I got from Sarah I've worn it for a year but suddenly I was thinking with a jacket that I bought in the summer from a little shop in some small town in Sicily this could look quite good so I'm going to tuck that in. Another black and white check, slightly oh. different size. So it's a check on check. Checkmate, in fact, you could call it. Oh, wow, very it's nice. It's the check's mate. Check's mate. But, you know, this is what one could consider to do because it's a little bit more interesting than just wearing a white shirt underneath. I think there's nothing wrong with those checks on checks. And yeah, it's very chic. It's chic, isn't it? And there's no rhyme or reason as to should I do the small check inside or the bigger check outside it could be either I started with these two colors but I'm not 100% sure I think oddly the trousers work with the top and the yeah. top works with the coat but the top and the trousers and the coat don't work together but why this works is because the colors in the pink are nearly identical there's a sort of dots to it, you know, there's a sense of a dottiness, which is slightly echoed in the trouser. And that's more interesting than wearing this with just plain pink trousers or a blue pair of jeans. So I'm trying to find a print clash for you. I found one, I found one. It's got yellow in it. I mean, it's sort of yellow and orange and there is yellow and orange. I can't get away from it, Lucy. I, I have to have them in some way, have a relationship with each other. No, but that, if that's the rule, then that's what makes it work. I feel that is what makes it work. So yeah. even though these are two very different prints, um, I feel that there's still a colour reference and I think there's an element of the volume. I'm just wondering if I like the volume together. But I would wear that together. That's nice. Can you yeah. add another layer to that? Yeah, okay. I will accept the challenge. Thank you. You see, you inspire me, Luz. <laughs> oh. I would <laughs> damn well do that. Is it that Prada? No, this is ASOS and oh, Celine. Nice. So I've taken a bit of the yellow, put yeah. it over the pink. Otherwise, you know, it's like layering it with the color that's underneath so it feels a part of the story. Yeah. And then there's a bit of the yellow in the trouser. So is there a bit of lilac in that jacket as well? Yeah, there is, it's a tiny bit. And yeah. that's in the trousers too? Yeah, it is. I think we found the ultimate print clash, Lucy. <laughs> I think you're so right. There's something also here about none of the prints are too big and fighting in size with one another. Yeah. And I think that's an important aspect. There's definitely days, Lucy, that I wake up and all I want is a wonderful, you know, navy with grey and white. Yeah. But there are other days when you think, let me play. And I think wearing print and doing print clash is about playing in your wardrobe in the ultimate way. Because then when you discover a kind of outfit that goes together, the joy it gives you is insurmountable compared to a nice navy and white top. I feel like painted a painting as opposed to just written a letter. That's such a beautiful way to express it. Yeah. I'm gonna challenge myself to try and find something printed with a print to go on top. And we will see you wearing it by next week, <laughs> Lucy. That's your challenge every week, darling, is to show us the inspiration in your wardrobe. And what I'd love the ladies to do at home is to send us photographs, Lucy, of their inspiration of what they've decided to put together. Um, and then we will put them at the end of next week's Closet Confessions. I love that. I will do the same. I'll take a picture. Fantastic. All right, yeah. darling. Brilliant. Amazing. Thank you, Lucy, for your patience. Thanks so much, Trini. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye. Bye.